What a beautiful day. You can see by the beachgoers, there are schools of devil rays. We're actually gonna take it further down the beach in Navarre Beach. See some dark areas down there, deeper trough. We target deeper troughs today. Throw some runt rods, throw some regular pompano rigs, 15 foot rod, camera rod, cut bait. We're gonna throw everything at the surf today. I hope though to catch some whiting to use as live bait and we're gonna drone it out there and drop it, see if we can't catch a cobia, king mackerel or something that surprises us. And that starts right now. So this is the GoFish cam. It's been retrofitted for surf fishing, which you cut the actual float it comes with in half, makes it get in the right view of the screen in, in terms of the bait getting the right view. We're gonna cast this out with shrimp and fish gum on the hooks and see if we can't catch some awesome footage on the camera. Let's make the cast. I've lost, it seems like 12 cameras since I've been doing this. The goal is not to lose anymore, that's for sure. And here we go, back in the water with the GoFish Cam. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can purchase your own GoFish Cam, and I'll also leave a link in the description of these little float jigs we're using. They're called by Flow T Jig, and they're made by Shellfish Gear. I'll leave a link in the description. They are for surf fishing. They have a soft float attached to a hook. It is a variation of the float hook that's been around for years. This is the first time I have seen a soft float. So it has less of a hard texture. When the fish eats the actual floaty jig, it's going to feel more like soft shrimp. And there we go. The first fish is a remora. And I want you to see that scent cloud that just happened as the remora eats the fish gum. It was a huge puff in the ocean and that's going to lead to more fish being attracted to the bait because that leaves a scent track in the water. It's got a little bit of shrimp in its mouth. Not the fish we want, but knowing that these trash fish are out there, there is a catfish. Do not normally see those when the water's clear. I don't know where they go when it's clear water. I always thought in my head they're like zombies living in the ground and they dig out of the sand when it becomes grimy, gritty, and dark color and they come out during the dingy times, but where do they go when it's not dingy? There you go, more of the floaty jig. You can see there's some trash, some weeds, a lot of speckled sediment in the water. And look who's back, the remora. I guess he was scared off by the catfish. Look how well the floaty jigs keep it off the floor of the ocean and it keeps it suspended and of course the wave action makes it jig and obviously remoras like it too. There's something new. Interesting tale. Have not seen that before. Oh look what we have the Florida Pompano, the prize of surf fishing, and it says, forget you, I don't want your bait. Sails right on by. Uh, looks like one of those fish that can prick the heck out of you. Leatherjack, maybe. The ladyfish coming in and out. Not interested at all in the bait. Oh, look at this. The prize of the ocean. The most expensive fish at the fish market. Here comes the pompano in a school of four right on by. And you wonder why. Well, it's warm water. There is food everywhere. And so they are very picky. It's not scarce. Here we got a, another ladyfish does inhale the pink fish gum with the floaty jig. Let's see if he comes back and finishes the deal. And he's hooked. Ladyfish on. I will reel this fish all the way in. So you're seeing that I will have caught a ladyfish. Some more of those things that can ruin your world by pricking you. And that is a yellow tail going after the top float. That is fish gum and a floaty jig. He's hooked, but he will shake free. 
and we will see. So you saw a bunch of different species. We have some fishing coming up. What do you think I'm going to catch? You know I'm going to catch a ladyfish. Will I catch a pompano? Or will I catch a couple of surprises on light tackle? I think that's what I'm going to do. Stick around and see what happens. I did add a new toy to the arsenal. The Swell Pro Fisherman Max version 2. It's the highest end fishing drone that is out there. I'll leave a link in the description where to find more information about it. But it comes with everything. Three batteries, extra blades, camera, HD, user friendly. It is really an amazing drone. Unfortunately, my first flight, I did test it at home, does not end well. I had some trouble landing it because I'm a dummy here. And you're gonna see what I do trying to get this thing back in and it knocks it into the box, home. falls into the sand, and I'm freaking out because it did that. I'm trying to move things away here. Here comes the drone. Watch this. Boink! There it goes. Messing it up. And that red sound means stop, turn everything off, and reset it. The thing is a beast. It's completely okay. No harm done. Looking forward to many more videos with this. But I do crash it a second time. Shit. <laughs> oh. Again, these are oh, just shoot. some sand that had to be kicked out, blown out, but it was completely fine. And I do have a fish on. I've been out there for a while. So kind of PO'd, but there is a fish on right here. Good fish. Oh, whoa, what do we got here? This has got some weight to it. Messing around with my drone. I screwed up immediately. I can't, I think I got a shark, another shark on this thing. Sharks love eating this stuff too. Maybe he'll just break off. Another shark on the runt rod. Those little sharp nose, black nose, whatever they're called. All right. There we go. Fish on. Fish on the camera rod. Took it and ran. We got a fish on. Love it when it's the camera. Let's get a red fish on here. Come on. This is on the floaty jigs on the camera what do we have here using op shrimp and fish gum pretty far out there let's see what we got i hope it's a red if it's a red i'll be very happy looks like we got another shark <laughs> another shark on the floaty jig that's still gonna look cool on camera chill out little guy I'm gonna make a mess of all my stuff. Stop it! Whew. There he is, shark, black nose, going back. And that is a sound of the drone going out. If you can see where the water is kind of turquoisey that's a sandbar we're going to try to deliver the bait past that sandbar and drop it and what i love about this is this thing is a beast uh, short little falls or spills doesn't ruin it it's not uh, lightweight but it's amazing amazing go. amazing Yeah, something's hitting the run. All right, he's taking it. We're gonna let him take it. The run is on. The run is on. And I'm gonna have to hammer down on it. I'm gonna have to hammer down on it. All right, here we go. We're just gonna let him take it until he feels tight. And I'm just got to hammer down.
All right, runs on. There he goes, whatever it is. He's hitting it. I'm just gonna let him keep tugging it. know guys doesn't feel like anything anymore that's my bait I'm gonna go back out with that That was a little bit of a hit. Come on. Don't just play with it, eat it. Come on, eat it. I think he's on there. I hope it's a whiting. There we go. There come the devil rays again. These fish, this fish is on. Maybe it's a decent sized whiting. Man, he's running left pretty fast, like a pomp. Jeez, this could be a pompano. Hello, hello. There he goes. Yeah, this could be a pomp. Yeah, I think it is. Or another black. I don't want to be a black nose. What are you? What are you? Yes! Yes, sir! Pompano, baby! Woo! It's been a while since I've caught one of y'all. <laughs> Boy, that feels good. Pompano on light tackle. Gotta land them. Gotta land them. Get your butt in here! Woo! <sighs> yes! You can see it hit the float. Right there, that is a pompano. That was OP shrimp. Loving seeing that. He's going to be keep. He's going to be right at probably 12. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Something on, something on. What do we got? Holy cow, holy cow. What was it? Come on, come on, what is it? Oh, I just fell it bright. Whatever it was, just broke off. Ah. That, oh my gosh. What do I have? What is this? <laughs> that thing was jumping like crazy. You, when you see something jumping, Pompano jump. I, I think I hooked the Devil Ray. I think I hooked the Devil Ray. I don't think it's a Pompano. I mean, it's gonna be a Devil Ray. I'm gonna try to get him in as quick as possible. That thing was peeling drag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go that way. Come on. I'm going to get this fish in. But sometimes the devil ray gets spooked if Pompano are behind him. There he goes. He broke off. That was going to be a devil ray. Good. <laughs> 